So today I'm reviewing an amazing free video editing software platform. It's called CapCut. Let's jump in. When you click on CapCut, you'll get to this project window. You have the option here to sign into your TikTok account, which I would highly recommend because you get access to all the trending sounds if you sign in. But I'm gonna go over here and click Start Creating. This is the window, the desktop that comes up. Over the top here, you have all your options, your audio, text, stickers, effects, transitions, filters, and adjustments. This one is your player window at the top in the middle. On the right here is your adjustment layer and at the bottom here is your timeline so how we're going to start is we're going to just drag two pieces of footage into our media library it pops up like this you have the option to change it between list and grid you can sort the videos however you want or you can select either video maybe you're searching just for the audio and you have lots of media in there you can just choose audio image or video but I'm going to keep, keep that on all for now and in order to start making a video we select our videos and drag them into the timeline at the bottom now what happens is we have have a few options available to us. On the left over here, you have the option to lock your track. This is useful if you have a second video up top that you don't want to cut up. So in order to do that, I click on this video, drag it up, and that creates a second track layer. Now, if I lock it, it's locked in place. I can't move it. I can't cut it. It's perfectly safe. If I select the second button, uh, that'll hide the track so I can't see it. And the last button will mute any audio on that clip. I'm just going to drag that thing back down. Over here, you can change between select and split. Split is just basically cut a razor tool. You can undo, you can redo, you can split your clip at wherever the playhead is with this button. You can delete, you can add a freeze frame in at that section. You can also play your video in reverse. You can also flip horizontal. You have the option to rotate. It, it does rotate at 90 degree increments, but if you click on it and come up to this button, click and hold, you can spin and change to any rotation that you want. And then you also have the option to crop. So if I want to zoom in, maybe just on these glasses and I hit confirm, now the video is going to be nice and close. And then just above the time, Timeline on the right here, we have the option to record so we can put some audio over our video. Maybe we're doing a tutorial and we need to do some audio. I'll just click record. Hey, test. Well, sorry, three. One. Hey guys, testing one, two, this is my MacBook audio uh, microphone, but wanting to see what it sounds like. I'll stop and nice thing, it adds it straight into your project right at the bottom and I'll play. Hey guys, testing one, two, this is my MacBook audio uh, microphone. It's not the best audio, but you do have the option to select a proper microphone if you have. I was just showing you as an example what it does. Then if you go over here, you can turn off your track magnet. That basically track magnet will push the videos next to each other if there's a gap in between. So if I click that, they'll basically snap into place. This option is to turn on snapping and linkage as well as turn off the preview access. And then you have the options here to zoom in and out. You can also use your minus key and your plus key on your keyboard to zoom in or out as a keyboard shortcut. Now, if I select a video by clicking on it and I come up to the top right, we have all of these options. We can select our video, the speed, animation, tracking, and adjustment. If I start at the video tab, there are some more tabs underneath that. So we start at the basic one. This allows you to change your position and your scale. So I can pull this thing up, scale in or out, and I can change my position on the X axis, on the Y axis. I can also use rotation. I can pull this little button and change my rotation. Then we have the options for blend modes. They have quite a few blend modes available over there. You can change your opacity by dragging this down or up. Then you have the option to stabilize your footage. I don't need to because my footage is pretty stable. Then if we move up to the top and move to cut out, this gives you some options to select a chroma key. So we can select a color on this video. Maybe it's the blues that we want to select. And it's selected all those blues and we can pull those blues out if we want. But what I've found is the chroma key is not as good as the auto cut out, which will basically search for your subject or object and cut out the background. And let's see quickly how this one does. I mean not the best it's pretty hard in this case because this cat is moving so much for anybody who's using i don't know making some sort of tiktok videos or reactions and they want to have the subject in the foreground and cut out the background they would use this option that's the one that you'd use so i'm just going to turn that off and they have mask options the mask options are very very basic but you do have this little button here if you pull on it it changes your feather which you can also change down here you can change your rotation and your positioning and let's just unselect that and then you can enhance with faces you have all these options to add makeup and that kind of stuff which I'm not going to go into detail right now so what I did want to mention is you have the option to add a keyframe so if we go to the start of our video we can add scale position keyframe for all of them and let's go to the end of our video and let's scale up to 240% 
And now if we play through our video, we have a scale that runs through. If you do want to find out where those keyframes are, they become these little diamonds on your timeline. So I can select and jump to whichever keyframe I want in order to change. Unfortunately, you can't click and drag your keyframes into new positions. You can only click on them in order to change the settings up here, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna take out those keyframes for now, which is great. They've got some basic keyframing, which a lot of free video editing platforms don't actually have. So that's a one up on CapCut already. You have a speed option, so you can select how fast you want your video to be. 2% all the way up to 100% goes really fast. Also, you can select the option here to change the voice tone. If it goes up, the audio will sometimes go really squeaky because it's going really fast. So you can select that. And then you have the curve option here, which is basically a speed ramp. So if I do a jump cut, play through this video, at this point, it's gonna speed up and then slow down again. So they have some basic templates, but you can also select your own ones by customizing and changing stuff over there. Then animations is basically your ins and outs are transitions. So I can add a fade in on the beginning because I'm on the in tab and that'll add a fade into my video. And on the out tab, I could keep it easy and just add a fade out going into the next one. And then a combo option two at the top over here. And then we have tracking, which I'm not gonna go into, but you can do some motion tracking. And they have some really cool adjustments. You can add a lot to your videos. You can change your temperatures, your hues, saturations, your brightness, contrast, highlights, all of the stuff. It's all free, all of available. Also the HSL option. So if we wanna change all of our blues or maybe the pinks in this video. So I'll click pinks. There's a lot of pink on his skin and I wanna bring the, the color down. I would just drag the saturation down um, and just has less pink in it so a really great option over there all right so what we want to do now is just add some audio show you how you can add audio to this so you come up to the audio tab over here and these are some sounds from tiktok seems pretty cool and i just click add to track and that's going to come up under our video so we play through Audio is added on top of that. You have the options here for sound effects. You can also search for different sound effects. Same thing, add to track and it'll add the sound effect to the bottom. Unfortunately, it keeps adding it underneath. So I prefer to have my audio right at the bottom with my sound effects above and you can just change that however you want. And that's pretty easy how you would add music into your videos. This is why I would sign in with TikTok because you get access to trending sounds. So I would definitely do that. And then if you select your audio at the bottom here and come up to the top, you have the options to have a fade in, or have it fade in for however long you want and if as you drag in you can see at the bottom there it adds a fade and gradually fades in for you to see how long that would be you have the option for noise reduction or some effects <laughs> onto some of these some of these are pretty ridiculous we're not going to go into these right now and then you can also speed up your audio but i'm not going to go into too much of those details what i do want to show you is how to add some cool titles effects and transitions because those would be most of the things that video editors would use if you go to your text tab you have the option to add some default text this is just basic boring boring text right in the middle, but we can change it to whatever we want. So let's change it to this option and we can change our size, our style. We can change the color. There's a few presets over there and it gives you the options to align, change the your rotation, your position, the scale, your blend, your opacity for the text. But then you can also add a stroke, a background. So if you want to add different color backgrounds, you can make them with rounded edges or, or not. You can change the width, also add a shadow to your text. So you've got tons of options here in order to play with your title. So even though I joked about being boring, you do have the options in order to make it a bit more dynamic. So you get access to that by clicking on your title over here, and then you have access to this panel. But I'm just going to delete that. They do have some, they call them effects they kind of look like 90s Microsoft Word art uh, effects, not very cool. But if you come down to text templates, these are some of the great ones. So you can add a, a like button for social media, fire, and a lightning one. And we can just put them side by side. We click on this uh, text here, we can change it to whatever we want. So we can change it to subscribe to the channel. Do that or whatever, whatever else you want. I mean, no pressure. So that's how you change titles. Really, really easy and simple. And they just got a whole bunch over here, like a very, very big library. And they also break them down into sections in order for you to look through and scroll through. Then we have some options here for stickers. I don't really use stickers myself, but again, a whole bunch inside of this platform. Something that you would use is their effects. They got lots of effects over here. You can hover over them to preview, but if you want to use them, you just drag them down to the bottom here. And this one is a bubble overlay. 
And if you wanted to go across the whole video, you just drag the end and you can select the length. So we got some cool bubbles on our cat because why not, you know? Those are effects. They also have some body effects options so you can, if you want a mosaic on a face, it'll basically pick up a face and add these effects onto the face. But this is a cat, so it won't unfortunately pick it up. Let's move on to the transitions because they have some really great trans transitions. If you come down here, these are all the transitions, but they're also broken up into different effects over here. So we can select any one that we want. Let's Let's just do some random one. Okay, let's just do dissolve. We click on it and we say add track. It puts it in between your tracks immediately. But if you zoom in, you can come in and change them how you want it. If you want to make it longer, we just click on the ends and drag them apart. And now it's even longer. That is that is like really cool for a free effect. That's like almost instant one click. Very, very easy to do. You can also select transition over there and choose the duration up here if you want to drag it out. Then they also have some filters. If you click on them, it'll basically preview what it would look like over your video. So I'm playing through the different options here. That's a cool one. Let's add that to our cat video. You see again, you're just going to have to line them up to where your video starts and drag the end in order that it fits across your whole video. So basically changed our normal cat videos to one with some cool bubbles and some titles and a transition in between and going into another video. And again, you can play with your keyframes if you want to add some scale ups, if you want to change anything, if you want to change your colors, your saturations and animate them, you can use the keyframe options on the right over here. So you've got tons and tons of options with this program. They do have an option over here to add an adjustment layer, which I think is great, which not a lot of other free programs have. We just click over here to add it to a track. And what I want to do is I want to drag it across the whole thing. So drag across my whole video like this. And let's say this adjustment layer, we want everything is just oversaturated. There's just way too much color, right? I'm going to come down, select this adjustment layer, come down to my saturation and pull it down. Let's say down to there because everything is just too much for me right now. And that's pull the saturation down on everything. You might not see it now, but if I pull my plate over here and turn this off, it, it, it does actually do something. But the great thing about changing your adjustment layer is that anything underneath it is affected, but the adjustments don't affect the original video. So if I turn this adjustment layer off, my video is still there fully intact. Nothing has been done. I haven't changed my saturation on this actual video. It's only been changed on my adjustment layer. And if I turn it back on, um, it only affects the adjustment layer, but everything underneath that adjustment layer. So adjustment layers are just a great way in order to right at the end, if you want to do a basic color grade, you just put all your color grading onto your adjustment layer right at the end or at the beginning, whatever you want to do it. Now we have a beautiful video with our music. We are our wonderful titles, our bubble overlays, great, beautiful transition in it with some amazing filters on top. And you're really inspired. Your friends are inspired by a beautiful video that you've made. You're going to change the world with this video. but it's still stuck on a computer and you don't know what to do. Well, really, really easy. If you want to export it, you just come up to this button at the top over here. But before I show you that, I've got to show you one thing is on this video option, on this player option, there's a button here that says original. If you want to change your aspect ratio instantly, you click on this button and you have the option to change it to different aspect ratios. So let's say you're making the, this video, but you also want to make it for TikTok in a vertical format. You would just click this button and it changes everything to vertical. Fortunately, it doesn't fit everything to scale. So you are going to have to go to each video and scale it up accordingly. So I would go into this video and pull down on the video in order to scale it up. That's just a cool option that they have there in order to change your aspect ratio instantly. Now, if you want to export, you just come up to the top over here and you click on the export button and you can change your title to whatever you want. This is where you want to save it. You have the option to choose your resolution. The great thing is CapCut goes all the way up to 4K. You can choose your bitrate, your codec, your format, your frame rates, and then you just click export and it's going to export a great video in HD quality as well as no watermarks and guys I've made a few videos on these type of free video editing platforms the problem with most of them is they get to a point where you have to pay in order to use some really basic needed fundamental functionality like exporting a video or keyframes just many things where you just have to pay in order to use the full functionality of things I have found with CapCut that you don't have to do this they literally have every 
everything on here for free. I found that Clipchamp is probably the closest that you get in order to a great free video editing platform. The only thing with Clipchamp is that it's very social media orientated. So if you're a social media manager or making social media videos, there's a great option because you can make quick videos. They have amazing templates. However, CapCut is different in the sense that it can do that really easily because it has a lot of templates ready made for you, but it also has the option to do any sort of other video editing style that you want to do. I mean, I use Premiere Pro as a professional video editor every single day of my life and this would be the closest that you get to Premiere Pro, to be really honest, at a free basic level. Sure, Premiere Pro has got a lot more power and can do a lot more things, but for someone who's starting out as a video editor who doesn't want to spend any money and wants to get the most functionality, I would say you cannot go wrong with CapCut. I've given other platforms 9 out of 10 because they're really good, but I would say CapCut is 10 out of 10. Okay, now I'm gonna change that because there's gonna be some person in the comments who says, yeah, but what about this, what about that? So let's just say 9.5, right? Just to make up for something that I've missed, which I probably missed, 9.5. Honestly, you guys, if you're starting out, this is the platform to start out. You can't go wrong. It is so basic, so well laid out, so simple. A lot of the stuff is just one click in order to create really good looking footage. You can't go wrong with this platform. But if you are a bit skeptical and you don't believe me about CapCut and you wanna compare it to some other free video editing platforms that are out there, I've made a video about that and you can check that one out over there.